Hi guys and welcome back to today's video. So today I filmed a kitchen tour for you guys. So the tour includes looking around the kitchen, the cupboards, what's in the cupboards and where I got the things from that I can remember. So if you're interested in that then please carry on watching. And if you're new to my channel then hi my name's Shannon and this is Esme. So Esme is in the kitchen tour just because she's sat in her chair this morning. So if you give my video a like and subscribe if you really like it and please come back to see some more. Thank you. So as you walk in the front door, we've got this stair gate here, this is our kitchen. There's Esme playing. So currently I've got the curtains shut just because it is early morning and I'm still in my pyjamas. So as you walk into the, the kitchen diner, we've got this bench and table set. This was from Wayfair. Currently Esme's high chair is here just because we haven't got anywhere else to put it at the minute. So it is just kind of resting there. It's a bit unsightly, but... <laughs> So in the middle of the table, these table mats um, were from B&M, so they're actually um, two-sided, so you could have it grey or yellow. And then this plant is fake, and it was from Wilkinson's, I think it was about £12. So the table and chairs from Wafer actually came with four chairs and a bench, that was the option that we picked. We had loads of issues with the table set and then they ended up sending it us and it had like a scratch here, so they ended up giving us a free chair as well. Say hi, Esme. <laughs> this is what Esme does every morning. We come downstairs after she's had her first milk of the day and then she sits in her chair and she's got her toys and these are all the delightful things that she likes to play with in the morning. As you can see, she's staring intently because she's watching Alvin and the Chipmunks. <laughs> That's her favourite thing, isn't it, Esme? You like watching Alvin? Yeah. So around this side of the room, this is the, that's the stair gate with the door from the hallway. And then this is our wallpaper. This is from Wayfair. So then we've got the TV and then we've currently got this unit here. So this was actually a wiki unit that we bought from Facebook Marketplace when we bought our first house, probably about two years ago now. Um, and these wicker baskets, they're not in the best condition, as you can see. The bottom, baskets at the bottom, they're turned around backwards because they should have like this little handle bit there, but they've turned backwards because the front of them are just completely broke from when we bought it. I did paint it kind of like this duck hair blue type colour, but um, the colour is not looking too great. As you can see, there's quite a few like cut marks and stains and stuff. So I was going to repaint it, but we've actually just bought a brand new unit that will be coming in the next month or so. So I'll be able to show that when that arrives. So this is actually just a gift for one of my friends. And then this is, um, this fake plant was from HomeSense. And then the vase, well, part holder was from a market in Stratford, which I got one Sunday. And I think the plant was only about five or six pounds. So yeah, moving around, we've got this rug, which is from Wayfair. We've had this for probably about, well, about four months now. We got it literally just before Esme was born. So I think it's nice because it kind of just breaks up. So we've got like that area and then it kind of like breaks up the middle and then there's the kitchen. So this sofa was actually my brother's. It came from a pub, so it was quite old. So we did just um, give him a little bit of money to keep it because I think it just kind of breaks up the space. We normally sit here. Oh, I don't know why that cushion's there. We normally sit here when we're feeding um, Esme. So we've got her toy there that she plays with at the minute we've got some bonjella because she is teething what are you doing i think she's not happy because the tv's on mute <laughs> um this is her favorite crocheted elephant as well she absolutely loves that to go to sleep with and then moving on to the kitchen so this is where we keep all of esme's bits in the day so this is her milk thickener her ph strips her bottle warmer and then when I bring everything down in the morning from upstairs, we'll have like her pump and stuff. That's the pump charger and all sorts of stuff like the, her syringes and stuff for feeding. So in our old house, it was like kind of like a sky blue theme. So as you can see, the toaster is like a light blue. That was the colour theme in our old house. But since we moved, we ended up just keeping it because we didn't have it for that long. So here, yeah, this chopping board was from um, HomeSense. I did really want like a real wood effect, although like any bit of water or something, it kind of just stay in it. But we have had it for about two and a half years now, so it's worth it. And up here, these are our utensils. They're not looking too good. I really want like a matching set. 
these are just bits and bobs that we've either bought ourselves. So I think like this one, like these and stuff like that we bought for ourselves. But then like these were gifted to me by grandma just because when we moved in, we didn't have anything. So eventually I will go buy like a whole matching set so it looks nicer. And then moving up here, we've got this shelf. So, um, yeah, that's like... This vase is from the pound shop and they're from Amazon and that's just from a uh, from a car boot sale actually that we got that and then the butterflies thing I think was that that was like one pound on sale from like B&M years ago. <laughs> so we've got the oven. Eventually we are thinking maybe to get this tiled, this whole back wall tiled because near the sink like, there's no tiles so it can get really dirty like the walls and the marks and stuff so... We don't know yet, but here we've got this cookbook. I always, since my old house, I've always just had like a cookbook on display. I think it just looks quite nice. Um, so that's, I think the Ella's Kitchen Cookbook, and I don't really bake that recipe, but it's just on that page for some reason. Here is our coffee pod stand. This was from Amazon, I believe. This was bought for my husband for his birthday because I bought him this coffee machine. So I think my mum got him the coffee pods. So, um, yeah, we've got some cappuccino, lattes, and some Milky Way hot chocolate at the minute. That's kind of mine because I don't really drink coffee. But then we've got this coffee machine. So we don't use it too much. When we first got it, we used it all the time. But we don't actually use it that much now. But it's still really nice and we do use it probably a couple of times a week. And then that's the kettle that matches the toaster. So this is... Um, this is kind of like a rustic kitchen mount holder and that was from Home Sense when we first got our house. And then we've got this wire thing from Asda. So excuse the dishes in the sink, but this sink, I do really like it, but the thing is, look, you can see here it's watermarks. So every time we wipe it, it just dries marks. You can't get rid of the white marks. So like the sink, it looks disgusting. It's like scratched and stuff. It's not even that old, but every time you use it, it stains. So I don't know what to do about that, but it's fine at the minute, I suppose. But this tap, I like this tap. It kind of like this little hose in, so it's ideal for washing things. And then on the windowsill, this plant was bought for me by a friend, but unfortunately I'm kind of half killing it. This heart plant is fake and it was from Sainsbury's. We bought that for the wedding, but never ended up um, using it. So we just ended up keeping it in the house. This plant's not looking too good either. I'm not that good at keeping them. It does have just like a little sign in there from my old house. I think it's kind of a bit ruined now, but it says fairies welcome. And then this one was like on sale for about 20p from Ikea, but it's, it was dying, but I've actually revived it because I think it was, it was probably literally like one stem of these. It was so small. But I don't know what, what it's got white on it. But yeah, that's that. Obviously the back door. At the minute we have got this blind. This was given to us by my grandma just because it was, it's quite a big window. So it actually is that like she gave it to us and it conveniently it fitted. I'm not sure that we're going to be keeping that colour blind because it's kind of hard to see on camera, but it's like a... A lime green, it's not really the colour that I would choose, but it's perfect for now, like it does the job, it covers the window, which is fine. So then over here, this is where I keep our washing basket, it's going a bit gross now, but that was like um, a rope style wicker basket from HomeSense. And then my um, fabric conditioners, here's our dryer. And then washing machine, so I've literally just done a load of washing which is in the dryer and I'm about to do some more plus nappies in the washing machine. So over here we've got these big bank of cupboards. So these are so useful as in our last kitchen we had like no storage. So in this one it's quite messy, we've got our, you can see my pyjamas, we've got our um, microwave, my washing powder, I've got like a steamer that my grandma gave me, plant food and like nappy cleanser. This is what I use at the minute to put in with my nappy washes and then I put the recommended dosage of this for um, heavy soil in. And then at the minute I've just got these for my clothes. And then up here we've got our toilet rolls and then that basket was from maybe Home Bargains but we just use that to keep all of our recycling. So every time we use like a pot bottle or something like that, it goes in there. And at the end of the day, every two days or something, my husband empties it into the main recycling bin outside. And it just saves so many trips out the front door, really. And here, this is our old set of like 
blue things like i said our last kitchen was blue so this is the old set of like it's like the cutlery tray so we've kept that but i'm not sure what, what we're going to do with them so down below we've got the dishwasher this is a really old dishwasher it was gifted to us by my grandma uh, we have never used it to be honest and i don't think we ever will we're actually going to be giving my husband's parents old dishwasher so that will be going there and then in this one it's a bit messy so on the bottom shelf is all the <laughs> i don't know what esme is doing talking to herself this is all our baking stuff so there's just all sorts of things in there really we've got like nuts and um pumpkin seeds and all sorts of things um scales sprinkles coconut flakes oil flour ice and sugar all sorts of things <laughs> i don't know what esme is doing and then here we've got um, the gin bottle, like gin bottles and wine glasses and champagne flutes. And then on this shelf is, well, next to it I've got some flour and some sugar. And then on the top shelf I've got oats, risotto, um, rice, pasta, and then some more pasta. I really like using them big jars. It's just so handy to pour into your food, and it keeps it fresh. This is the messy snack cupboard. So here it really started off with just cereals and cakes and then it kind of just got really messy. So we've got some wraps, we've got cookies at the minute, I've got I'm trying these at the minute and they're very nice. We've got a bag of potatoes at the back that my grandma gave me, we've got some batches, and then all of our cereals. And then up here we've got these stacks. So this is like a crisp basket and this is the chocolate and cereal bars and all sorts of things and then in the middle I've snuck some marshmallows so these were from Aldi and they're actually so nice and then on the top shelf the blue tin has got biscuits in and then there's just all sorts of goodies up there and then in the next shelf uh, sorry next cupboard it's a bit of a mess too so when we got this kitchen which I was heavily pregnant everything was kind of just shoved in the cupboards and I really haven't had a chance since to just get on my hands and knees and just empty all the cupboards really and sort them out but um so in this one this top shelf is like pasta sauces lasagna sheets onions naan bread <laughs> this is like fajita spice curry sauce tins on this one we've got a massive bag of stuffing because Sam likes stuffing um, and then the rest of this was kind of like pudding things and crackers but then since Esme started weaning I've literally filled it with the pouches so the bottom shelf has got like a steriliser, some bibs, um, breast milk bags, sterilising tablets, all sorts of things like that so that's just taken over and I don't think I showed you this cupboard but this is just all sorts of pots and pans like We've got the blender, travel mugs, toasty machine, vases, bowls, all sorts of things in there. And then moving around here, this is our kitchen bin. This was from um, Home Bargains. I think it was only like £20 or something. And then this clock was from Danau. <laughs> She's shouting at the TV. So here, this is my brother's freezer currently. And at the minute, when he... It's just there for storage. When he takes it next week, we're going to put the bin under there, I think. I did also kind of want to cut the worktop down, probably just to, like, here, just so that the sofa and the table aren't right next to each other. I wanted kind of a bit of a gap to break the room up. But we're waiting for the freezer to go before we decide whether we're going to cut the worktop down a little bit. So over here, we've got a messy cutlery drawer. Very full. This set is just from Asda. And then down below, we've got all the tea towels and an oven gloves. That's me. <laughs> and then in the bo bottom one, we've got some pans and pizza trays and things like that. I just had to go see to Esme. I've just given her a unicorn that talks and the TV is off mute. So if you hear any of that, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then in this small drawer, this is basically a junk drawer. I'm sure everyone ki every kitchen has one. These are just my breastfeeding vitamins at the minute. Then we've got some paperwork for the house. Um, Gavis gone from when I was pregnant. Doggy poo bags. Literally, it's just anything and everything in there. Pens, tape. <laughs> and then in the bottom cupboard, oh, I don't know, paperwork. 
Um, so we've got our squash, we've got some bottles of wine, um, and then gin and vodka. So then this next cupboard, this is like a spice thing. And then in the next one is our little freezer. So at the minute it's got two drawers full of breast milk in and then the middle drawer has got some bits of meat in. What are you doing? And then this final cupboard, sorry there's one more cupboard after this. So this has got our sponges in for cleaning the floor and this little cupboard organiser was probably from B&M or somewhere like that. And then we've got the pans. As you can hear in the last clip, Esme was screaming, so I'm currently holding and trying to film. So in this final cupboard, we've got our cleaning stuff, so we've got lots of bleach and stuff at the minute. Um, this little spray bottle is from Aldi, and honestly, their like, disinfectant that smells absolutely amazing. You can buy the refills for them too. So I'll just give you like a brief overview of the kitchen. And here's our plates and cups, so we've got bowls, plates bigger plates and the bowls these are a set from Astra as well you have to buy these individually but they're worth it for like pasta and stuff these are the Dr Brown's bottles that Esme uses they've got these little special bits to make sure that they like the special cleft palettes really that's all the bits we're using for weaning some more bottles that we never got around to using so recently I had to make this cupboard like more cramped at the bottom just to fit these bits in but I will be tidying it up soon And then this cupboard has got the tea stuff at the top, cups and glasses. And then these lovely cups are from TK Maxx for $2.99 each. And we've got like a set of four different ones. So this is this side. At the minute our garden's a mess because we need to get somebody in to do it for us. When we moved in there was absolutely no grass. So we've grew the grass. The table and the umbrella is currently in my brother's and he will be taking them. That shed is going to be going. We need to get new fences and a new gate. That shed is alright at the minute, but it's just not its not what we want the garden to look like, so it needs redoing. So, an overview of the kitchen. So, I think that's everything in this area we've spoken about. This light is actually my brother's. He will be taking that when he moves out and then, well, he doesn't live here, but his stuff is still here at the minute. So I really like that, but he's going to be taking that. And we bought like a big wooden light to go there, so that will be going up as well. So around here, we've got our fridge. When we moved in, this was given to us in our old house by my mum and dad. They ended up buying a new one, so we was given their second one, which is nice. So round here, we've got a picture. This is an up picture. It was, it's like an artist thing. It was from um, America when we went a couple of years ago. Then we've got this, which is from an Asda, and it's like a fake little sausage dog plant. Then we've got the radiator and the dog water bowls. So round here, this is our messy lounge. It's overrun with baby things. <laughs> and then round here, we've got this plant. And then this is like, um, one of them star things that you create and it's basically the uh, the day that me and Sam got engaged apparently in the sky then we've got just a downstairs bathroom and then moving around into this cupboard it's like I have to do it with my foot because I've got it me it's like a click clock one so you just push it in it and comes and done this is literally like oh that's me slipping down this is like a big junk storage so at the minute like in that cardboard box is dog food and then in the bin below is dog food too We've got our two areas for the nappies, a dehumidifier, a mop, <laughs> our chest freezer. These shelves have got like dog food and dog treats on. The next one has got just some random tools and so is the bottom two. These shelves my dad just made, they're just like a piece of MDF I think. That's our cool bag because we just used that on holiday. And then we've got a Vax Hoover that is going to be going to my brother's. have got our ironing board and then... A mountain of shopping bags down there because we conveniently always forget a new shopping bag every time. And then just the keys and a duster. 